What is up, people? This is Abraham Walker with Ask A. Walker, your Northern Virginia real estate agent. And we're back at you with another property tour. So today we're going to take a, take a look at the Windcrest model. The previous video uh, was of the this other model over here, a little bit larger uh, property. This is going to be a decorated model. Let me know in the comment section if you want me to post the video I did of the move and ready property this is also a windcrest that is actually ready to move in right now um, it doesn't have any furniture in it but it is sometimes good to see what a property looks like without any furniture in it so this is where to live in northern virginia this is our youtube channel and on our youtube channel we cover three things we cover new property tours new construction tours we also cover relocation content that's more of our research-based content and lastly, we talk about things to do in the area, right? So this is the property we're gonna take a look at today. I think you're gonna really like it. I think you're gonna like the fact that there is a bedroom in the basement here, if that is one of the perks you were looking for. And yeah, I think the I think the kitchen layout is, is lovely in this one as well. So this is a two car garage model. So in my opinion, because of the way the space is laid out here, you probably have one person park in the garage and one person park out on the curb here. So you kind of see, we have some people already moved into the neighborhood and that's what they're doing. That's what they're doing. Otherwise, you'll you kind of give us some of your storage space because we're not allowed it anymore. So there's a little bit less space here. But what you give up in space, you also decrease your commute time and you're now around more creature comforts. Oh, you know what? Before we go in, I just want to remind you, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. It helps us out a lot. And like the video. Liking the video will get the video out to more users on Faith, I mean on, on YouTube. And lastly, comment down below what do you think is your favorite room? in this in this model what's your favorite feature do you like the cooktop versus a range do you like the gas versus electric um let me know in the comment section let's get let's get a conversation going now we can go inside so we have in this model here we have the stairs off to one side of the property so you have your stairs going up to the bedroom level and then behind these stairs, you're gonna have your stairs going to the basement level. Right here to the right, we have our powder room for this level. And we have these cool looking lights. Right? Some of these light fixtures, you wonder to yourself, like who's buying them, builders? That's who's buying them, builders. You know, they, they have such a big marketing budget for these builds. So we have, we have a quick access to our open living space, right? So there you go. This is it. This is, I love the simplicity of this, this level here. So you have your kitchen to the left here. You have your dining space to the back left. And then you have your living space right over here. This is a great TV wall above the fireplace. This is more of a decorative fireplace there. And you have a wonderful space for the large sectionals. I like the large sectionals myself, me, myself, personally. Um, I don't find them to be practical, but I, I do like them. I do like them. All right, so we have ourselves four seats here. And then we have our access to our garage. To our left here, we have a closet. To our right. And then we have another one of those desk type setups that Pulte liked, preferred for this particular model. So this is our two car garage here. So what's cool about this garage is actually deep enough to have a little storage to the back of the garage, right? So. Your car is probably gonna come like right here. And then if we turn right here, we have a good good amount of storage space. You could add some shelving. Um, you have a place for your garbage cans, your recycle bin. All right, 
So we have our little storage room here, a little coat, coat closet coming off of the garage. And we have that gorgeous kitchen and combination living space. I love that they put the, the hood over the stove versus putting the microwave over the stove. Sometimes they'll put the microwave over the stove and just to give you that double oven. I would give up the double oven for a vent. So we wash washing dishes. We look to our left over here. We have our guest eating at the dining room table. Then we have the TV going right here with the game. We also have our refrigerator here. We have our microwave over here. Decent amount of counters, countertop space as well. And then we turn right around and we have our we have our range. We got our cooktop, and then we also have the place where all of our Costco goods will go. Walk-in pantry. Nice. If need be, you could definitely have fit one more leaf inside for this table. So you can get an eight top if that's what you um, if you need to fit eight people for dinner because there is still a little space behind this chair here what is this interesting we got some bells going all right so let's take a look take a look all right and then we have ourselves the deck so if you look at the if you recall from the last video the deck on the previous model it has a screened in porch area and it has some part of the deck that's also exposed. So I like that layout because that layout allows you to put your barbecue grill, your grill or your smoker still just right on your deck, right? So in this model, I don't know if you're really gonna want a grill with in this covered area. Maybe you, you know, maybe you like to live a risky life. I, 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 I don't think my wife would allow, allow me to do it. Now, you do have a little, you have your little yard there. Just enough grass to get yourself a electric lawnmower, but not enough grass to need to spend an entire, entire Saturday cutting grass. Living space here, living space is like about this living space is you, you, you have enough room for sectional or a large a large sofa with two love seats or even an Eames chair love those Eames chairs yeah, so this is the living this is the living area the main living area so now let's go take a look at the bedroom level so if you call the stairs are right by the front door so since we go through the stairs, we have our powder room. So we have one step to get there. Now let's count the rest of the steps. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. All right. So we're at 18 steps to get to the bedroom level. Working our way from, well, left to right, we have our bedrooms down this hallway here, our guest bedrooms. We have the bathroom, we also have the laundry room, and then to our right, we have our owner's suite. So let's work our way from right to left, since this is the first available room. So again, we have the stairs right there. Then we have the owner's suite. Owner's suite, you access through double doors. As soon as you walk into the owner's suite, we have a closet right here. And actually, um, you're gonna see on the tour, if you wanna see the tour of the, the unit that doesn't have any furniture, you'll see that this closet is actually an option. So you could have a closet right here, you could have a larger, a larger bedroom space. So we have a nice closet and then we have a nice size space for king size bed and your 
two nightstands. We got a great TV wall right over here. And I would say, based on like the distance between your dresser and your bed, you could put a chaise or some type of seating uh, right at the foot of the bed. Or maybe get yourself a large sleigh bed if that's what you're looking to do. If you're looking to slay the bed, if that's what your style is. I like these little square windows they put over here to get yourself just a little bit more light into this space, right? All right. So now we have our second walk-in closet here. So we got our second walk-in closet, and then we are in the bathroom, right? So we came from that little hallway-like area into the bathroom. We do have a window in the bathroom. Inside this bathroom, we have ourselves a vanity, our first vanity with plenty of storage space. We have ourselves a linen closet inside the unit, and we have a toilet closet with some hieroglyphics. And then we have our shower. I like this shower design. I gotta say, I like this shower design because two people can actually take a shower in here. You don't have to be touching each other. You just get, get to work, get your shower, two people at the same time. And then because you have your second vanity over here, everybody can get ready for work at the same time, barring that you have enough water pressure, right? So yeah, so, so that's the owner's suite. Let's go check, take a look at the, the bedrooms here. All right, so we come through that hallway and we have a door, we have the laundry room, we have a bedroom, and then we have a guest bathroom, and then we have two more bedrooms, and then we have, I believe, the linen closet right here. So we're gonna work our way from left to right. right? So we have the linen closet here. This is a nice looking, nice looking door for a linen closet, right? Then we have guest bedroom number one. Looks like they want this person to be a golfer. Guest bedroom number one does come with his own bathroom. An ensuite. Let's turn this light on. There we go. We have light. All right, so. We do have ourselves a full-size bed. They have a little dressed um, nightstand over here. This nightstand is kind of small. And then we have a desk on the other side. So you could definitely picture yourself either with a queen-size bed and just smaller nightstands or replacing that desk and putting another nightstand over there. I can also see a, another piece of furniture along this wall over here. And we have ourselves a walk-in closet with a window. Makes it easier to get dressed in the morning. So now we're in guest bedroom number two. Guest bedroom number two is off to the front of the property as well. We have ourselves another full-size bed, two nightstands. I like this, uh, I like this artwork right here. It's pretty cool. All right, and we have a great size walk-in closet here. All right, so now we have the guest bathroom here. The guest bathroom does come with double vanity and you have the door for your tub and toilet. And then we got the double vanity there. Now we have our last guest bedroom on this level. So we have four bedrooms on this level and we have one more bedroom on the basement level. Guest bedroom number three. Oh, they have that same piece of furniture from the last model. Interesting. It's almost like a day bed. I guess it is a day bed. So this room is a little bit, it's a, it's, it's more narrow, or not as, yeah, narrow. 
Um, that's why they use this day bed, bed right here. So you will have some challenges with this third bedroom, third guest bedroom. You do have two nice sized windows, so you'll get some natural light and you have yourself a walk-in closet. So this walk-in closet may be like one of the largest walk-in closet of the three. And last we have, we have our laundry room on this level. So we can fit ourselves a side-by-side -side washing machine, washer and dryer, and we have our basin and our sink. So let's go and take a look at the basement. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, like this video, it costs you nothing, and comment down below, what has been your favorite room so far? What what feature do you like the most? What is Pulte Homes doing that you really like? So now we're gonna go to the basement. So now we are in the basement. As soon as we land in the basement, we have like almost like a similar layout to upstairs where because the stairs are on the exterior wall, the side exterior wall, we have all of the all of the space really to the opposite side of it, right? So we have our utilities towards the where the stair stairs land. And then we have ourselves some storage space underneath the stairs. And then we walk into, uh, to our right, we have our wet bar. And then we have our flex space. And then we have ourselves a full size bath and a basement bedroom. So let's look at this flex space and then we'll go check out the bedroom. Yep, plenty of space for, to have a TV wall. You do have a little, just a few steps up from your basement. This is gonna depend on the grading though, so don't use that as a measurement of how many steps you'll have. Nice little wet bar here. Nice little iron, iron artwork. This is a, uh, this is like some new artwork or you just have like the, it's almost like a kid, something my kids would have done, some origami type stuff. Um, okay, so now let's go take a look at that bedroom here. Love the size of this room, love the size of this room. You even have a little closet there that doesn't take away space from the bedroom space. Nice ceiling height in this basement uh, bedroom. Great space, great, great use of space. Now the the unit across the street, the quick moving ready unit, you'll see that this space is not finished in that version of the property. So you'll get an idea of just uh, what it, what the layout would be if the space had nothing in it, All right? So good, so full bath in your basement. Well, that's it for our tour today. Thank you so much for watching up to, up to this point. If you're ready to start your real estate journey, there is a link in the description to the Perfect Home Questionnaire. Fill out like that form and we'll schedule a time to meet online via Zoom to answer any and all of your questions. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next video. Peace.